Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomo T, and it's been a long time since I made a video, but I made this Animal Crossing themed vending machine because the video game is coming out soon. I'm super excited. And the supplies that I used, the mold I got is from my Sophie and Toffee Elves box. And I actually had two boxes to open, but um, I just decided to open both of them up in this video and use one of the kits to make my project so you can continue watching to see what other supplies I got. To start, I'm taking the light blue UV resin and I'm placing it in where like the little button compartments are in the mold and I'm carrying that under the UV lamp. Then I'm pouring my two part resin into two separate cups and I'm combining them into one cup total and mixing it all together. Next I added the rose pigment and I honestly thought it'd be a little bit more of a red color but it's kind of like a bright pink. I tried adding a little bit more seeing if that changed it a bit and it really didn't. So I decided to add some pearl pigment powder into the mix. Make it completely pink since it already is. And I poured it into my mold and let that cure for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, the resin has been completely set and I took it out of the mold and it looks like this. So then we're going to make the little things that go into the vending machine. So I'm taking some white clay and flattening out into a circle and I'm going to roll out some red clay into a teardrop shape and flatten it out. And we're going to place that onto the white dot and this will be the pitfall seed that is super iconic in Animal Crossing and then pull a little dot for the exclamation mark. For the fossil, I'm taking some dark blue clay and I'm flattening out into a circle. Then I'm gonna pinch it into a diamond shape. And on one corner of the diamond, I'm just gonna flatten it out so it's a pentagon. For the fossil design, I'm taking some silver clay and I'm rolling into a snake and I'm gonna roll it up into a little swirl. And then the most annoying part, I flanned out some silver clay and I carved out a little star. And this is probably the most time consuming part of it all. And there'll be many stars in this tutorial. So then onto my pentagon, I'm adding the little swirl, the star, and a little silver dot on the bottom. And that concludes the fossil. So next we're going to make the bag of bells, so I'm taking some glittery gold clay and I'm going to pinch it into a slightly rounded triangle shape. And then taking the same clay, I'm going to pinch it into a little triangle again and it kind of looks like a little Dorito chip. And we're going to place that on top of our rounded triangle. Then I'm going to take some red clay and roll it out into a thin snake. And we're going to use that to wrap around the little triangle so it looks like kind of like a string. And I cut out some copper stars, kind of the same technique we made for the fossil and I placed that in the middle of our bag and I made four of these. So next we're going to make the giant leaf so I'm taking some green clay and I'm pinching it into a diamond shape. Then I'm going to curl up one end. And then using my tool, I'm going to make a little bit of an indent on one side of the leaf. And then taking my X-Acto blade, I'm going to carve out a little circle on the corner. And then I'm going to smooth it out with my dotting tool. 
and I'm gonna cut out a little cone out of green clay and we're gonna place that in the middle of our little indent of our leaf and that's the big one that's gonna be used as a sign and then we'll also make a tiny little one to put in our vending machine as well and these leaves can represent furniture in the game and next we're gonna make the little bell that goes into the vending machine so I'm taking some yellow clay and flattening it out into a circle then I'm gonna roll out a strip of yellow clay cutting it into a thin little rectangle and we're gonna wrap that strip of clay around our little circle and it doesn't have to be all the way wrapped around and we're gonna place a little gold star in the middle and we're gonna cut it in like two-thirds of the way halfway so it looks like we're gonna place like part of it into the vending machine so then once we have our little clay details we're gonna bake it in the oven according to instructions And I thought, maybe I'll give it a little sign. So I have this nail mold and I'm placing some black UV resin on it and I'm scraping off the excess and carrying that under the UV lamp. And I just have enough to spell out nooks. I didn't have an apostrophe, so it'll just be nooks. So then I'm placing some super glue onto our giant leaf and placing that on the back of our sign of our vending machine. And I'm adding a little layer of UV resin as glaze. And I'm going to place on our little nook sign without the apostrophe. And once that is placed, I'm going to cure that under the UV lamp. And I decided for some extra color, I'm going to take some of these beads and glue them around the circular sign of our vending machine. And finally, all we have to do is add some super glue into our little compartments and add our little clay pieces onto it. And I thought about it, we're gonna put a single bell in to get bags of multiple bells. Makes no sense, but you know what? It's Animal Crossing, so let's just take it with a grain of salt. And after gluing on our little belt into the compartment, we are completely finished. And I know the game won't have anything like this, but I'm super excited for the Animal Crossing game to come out and I thought, hey, a themed vending machine would be cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy playing the game because I know I will be.